Attention gamers, when I make content for this piss pit of a game I try to represent the real raw side of the rift, no smurfing or staged lobbies just the average hardstuck experience as there's nothing fake here outside of what you see in loading screens when I'm playing this mf or it's just raw unadulterated feeding and flaming others for it so when I queue up for rank I get the experience that most of you see on a daily basis. People talking about caffeine addictions until one person links a scouting report that Riot is trying to outlaw and says half our team is dog shit followed by someone named P Hole Bobby slaying me with the clever sarcasm of the cool kid at the 4th grade lunch table until ultimately someone dodges. Then when I do finally get in a game first blood is always a red border and turns out Billy Bean and his statistics are right because I'm a run in a straight line to dodge grope grabs kind of guy. Thankfully the enemy team has less synergy than the negative side of two batteries and eventually I get the first hit of addictive dopamine from getting my first kill. When I get a gank my eyes get big and a little bit of blood rushes to the tip of my very average sized pork sword causing me to ignore the warning signs of what skilled players would call a classic counter gank. My junglers flame me for getting hit by hooks but I take pride in the fact that I would win that argument, because the last time I died the blitzcrank didn't even need to use his hook. Then games turn into me getting pushed in more than a basic bitch in the front row of a Taylor Swift concert while my jungler is busy flaming my mid for his own daddy issues which always leads me to a crossroads. Where I know if I'm optimistic and scale till the late game, I will still lose anyway after having endured 10 more minutes of verbal harassment and that is the true solo queue experience but today was going to be different, because it was the very last day of the season. And I expected this would be the one night where people would put their differences aside with the deadline to hit season end goals being so close. But then I met this guy. First of all, I'm better than you are at the game. You suck. I'm here to carry you, because you're pathetic. Okay, I feel like I just need to say I'm not pathetic, because I play Ra Raid Shadow Legend. All right now that we got that out of our system, welcome to Rav's How to Play Raid 101. The game revolves around champions, collecting them, leveling them, gearing them, obsessing over them and while there's a few ways to get new ones the most common is through shards like this so everyone say hi to Vanguard or who we will now reference as, Bunny Ear Bobby. You see if you immediately take Bunny Ear Bobby into your current level battles he will have a case of the Mondays so you need to level him up by putting him with teams that will carry him which league players can all understand or you can drop him off at daycare or sacrifice other champs to speed level him up. Then you collect and throw some gear on him and bunny your bobby is badass and ready to help you push through harder content to unlock more champs better gear and ultimately build a better collection. Raid is always having new stuff like how just now there's a brand new faction of champs called Sylvan Watchers or how I like to call them Elven Hotties plus events, a new season of the Forge Pass to get better gear and opportunities to get exclusive rewards if you are an Amazon Prime member. So if you want to raise your own bunny ear bobby check my link below or scan the QR code to get raid and you'll get silver energy xp one of these shards and vergas who is like bunny ear bobby but way better. Alright so back to champ select you see I have a chill group till my top links a youtube vid and I'm thinking it's either a rickroll or some dude porking another dude with some meat spin pp propeller crap only to see this. Okay so you're probably in champion select and some random guy posted, well guess what, that random guy is me. I have a few things I want to say to you before the game starts. First of all, I'm better than you are at the game. I'm here to carry you. And I'm thinking if this isn't the most stereotypical League of Legends player I don't know what is. I don't get carried. I do the carrying. But I feel like he needs music. You're probably some low elo player who just magically got here because the matchmaking system somehow puts you in favorable matches and you got carried. The matchmaking system always puts me in the worst possible matches happen. And I, I've still carried my team, time after time, and I'm here to carry you too. So yeah, shut up, listen to what I have to say, I'm a hundred times better than you are. Just sit back and do not feed, do not feed. And just to triple check the guy who linked this is the gangplank, right? If I do is sit back, farm, stay even, don't give them free kills, I'll carry you. Understand? I'm the best player in the game. 
I mean, look at my YouTube. I have thousands and thousands of views. What do you have? Zero, because you're pathetic. So for the zero of you viewing this, let's get into the final ranked game of the season and experience the wild anime arc that is this guy. And as you can see, he's not exactly having a great time with the beast from beauty and the beast who is enjoying the amenities that come with tall patches of grass until a little follow the flashing leader ensues and this one man sweat factory must be feeling a bit ironic. But he cries like a newborn baby in desperate need of a tit until Papa Puddles comes in to drain the litter box which is looking good until you remember the little shit teapots from Beauty and the Beast are also sentient and this one is out for slaughter so looks like an even trade and an O and 2 start for our self-proclaimed hero. Then it's back to what looks to be mildly infuriating to deal with as the roided up cat continues to do the jumpies out of the shrubs while Captain Jack Sparrow gets bent over on repeat like there's a trial pending but unlike Amber Heard, this pussy actually gets his payday. And while I'm simply the side character in this gang plank's autobiography it's worth exploring my background which consisted of receiving an early gank from the weaponized kitty pool who earned himself a two for one splash flash special and then took the two of them and said now kiss as I decorated the ground with cute cupcakes before deciding that I'd rather kill a midget employee instead of a sona but luckily I was at least able to clean up the walking arsenal of halo 2 weapons right after. Then a little background my support started talking politics and things quickly got out of control so their bot stormed off without telling me where they planned to go only to find out they had arranged a little get together with my own co-workers so I was clearly upset and felt justified to murder them but when the time came I wussied out opting to just watch this watery hitman do all the work instead. But here's the thing I don't take kindly to people making my jungler go through reverse mitosis so I hop the wall break that toxic teapot before hitting a buzzer beating root scoot out of a close call with what would have been 20 seconds in black and white to think about my actions. And after that whole debacle I started being extra diligent to not let these shitters out of my sight so every time the floating pigtail DJ roamed too far I would have to fire a few rounds from my pellet gun into her left ass cheek before comboing in the wrong order and curving a bullet around Gary Goth guy to teach her a lesson. This prompts the fight or flight response out of Billy Joe Armstrong who chose flight but sucks to suck Bobby Bukake is in town and in the mood to bounce so he too gets evacuated from lane. Checking in on our inting inspirational speaker and he's all like for the love of fuck who woke up the rift herald again and young Earl Grey is like dog if I say it was me what are you gonna do about it to which he says, I'll carry you. But what he means is I will run deeper into danger until more people on the enemy team are able to get kill participation from my fifth death in 12 minutes. And I don't want to speak for my jungler but I can assume he's deemed top a lost cause because he's been in my lane more than a guy in a souped up Honda Civic who just cut me off to which I am both thrilled to be the recipient of such rapid fire ganks and also still lacking any sense of accuracy but luckily auto attacks can't miss. Half dog and his spiritual fetish stepsister in his head Dean Bloons tower defense a proper way to play this only to make his jungler lose all confidence in the idea to join the party. But jokes on him he went to a different party and did in fact end up getting fucked but not in the way he wanted to as I join in death fluorescent peacock on my head to inform DJ douche canoe that she should act like a Twitter employee because I must tell her that she is no longer needed here. Back to captain shits the bed at night and we see that he must be content with the results of keeping wave in the perfect leap out the weeds and smack and ass combo range of Rengar, welcoming an all and that results in burn wounds that not even deep throating a tangerine can fix. That said I'm now pals with the puddle as I like his style of snot rocketing himself onto unsuspecting coffee cups and while I remain o for Sunday on the whole bear trap a teacup effort I am starting to accumulate the homicides. This opens the door for some easy wave pushing for our pin headed pirate. Do not feed. You'll never be as successful as I am. Then a big dragon is about to birth itself in this little river womb as you can see Zack do the fluid fling and I'm thinking if his feet were any colder on that engage he'd be frozen because all five of them are in attendance while one of ours is... Ah. But I'm hopeful because I lived through the painful phase of inting Cyan without quitting this game so I know playing single player split pushy and ignoring the team elements of a team game can be effective and he is in fact now strong enough to kill a support so despite him making one more donation to the Make a Fed Enemy Team Foundation, my spirits are high.
So we wipe and desperately need someone to clear waves mid but I think I just have to trust in this man. Do everything I say, we can win. And by the grace of some fucked up League of Legends god this narcissistic swashbuckling shithole is now stealing dragons grouping with the team removing health bars from bad guys and we are all rallying, around 4 puddles that just wanna be one bigger puddle, as I use my watch which stops so that I could survive to tell the story to my grandkids one day. We are now breaching bases slaying stupid mute music simps and backing out but it'll never be a safe world for an ADC. Okay with no vision that bitch is cheating. The bushwhacking bobcat was now learning the hard way not to play peekaboo when our mobilized murder puddle was around as we pop a few peggies up his poo hole until he pisses off and then I continue playing the fight to damn near mechanical perfection which in my role consists of right clicking on the red health bars as the quiet one with the turntables gets removed from our presence and I take a sponge bath in badness. I hit a root scooter out of that emo's ult which prolonged my membership to the still alive club and to be frank they would have never kicked me out if that teacup didn't land his missed skill shot right after. But things were still on the up we were slaying wyverns our toxic taint whiffer was now somehow legendary after starting the game 0 and 8 and all was right in the world where ADCs were dying and those ADCs were not me. Sono was remaining consistent and getting blown up like a sex doll and the only gold Rengar was seeing was the kind assassins like him bitch about on Twitter which meant fights were tied turnings the tables or whatever the shit that saying is until it was just me, doing my best Jesus Christ impersonation while our actual lord and savior this egotistical asshole hit the back door and fulfilled his own prophecy of carrying in what was one of the craziest roller coaster rides of character development I've ever seen, so all that was left was to collect my LP from the final ranked game of the season. Bruh. Thanks Riot.